Santee Cooper, meeting the growing energy needs of the 21st century while protecting the environment and natural heritage of South Carolina through its innovative Santee Cooper Green programs. Santee Cooper Green presents Living Green. Living Green visited with Verlin Wolf of Carolina Cooling and Plumbing to discover ways consumers can prevent wasted electricity and try to lower utility bills during this cold season. But also, purchasing the right heat pump is an important part of your overall energy plan. Verlin Wolf explains. Yeah, heat pump is the most important appliance you can buy for your home because that is your comfort. And it's also good that if you are changing the system out to go ahead and, and possibly have another load calculation done on your home. Uh, Sandy Cooper provides those load calculations. Um, and then um, you have a lot of different options as far as the efficiencies are concerned, uh, the different manufacturers that are out there and available, and, um, and just the quality of the equipment too. Um, the, there again, the higher the, uh, the SEER rating and the efficiency, uh, the more energy savings you'll see. There's quite a range as far as what uh, the cost up front is on changing out or putting in your HVAC system. Uh, generally, the higher efficiency, a little more costly for the installation, but you should get that back in energy savings as you go down the way. Now, in this particular home, uh, they have a zone system, and you can see that they have um, uh, two systems in uh, total, so each system has three zones, so there's a total of six zones in this home, which can uh, you see many, many times in a larger home, uh, like is the case here. The benefit of being able to do that is have individual comfort in individual areas. For instance, I know they have a guest bedroom upstairs that very seldom gets used. So they leave that zone off and save money in regards to not having to heat it or cool it during different times of the year. And then if they do get somebody in it, they can go ahead and turn it on and bring it on. It's going to be a little bit more to put in a zone system because there's a little bit of additional ductwork. Uh, there's a, uh, more equipment as far as thermostats and the zone control system also and some damper motors and things like that. So there's going to be a little more cost to put in the zone system, um, but it has to do with convenience and comfort and also uh, energy savings down the line. Just like upstairs with, by the air handler, it's important there again to have a qualified service technician come out a couple times a year, but it's good to make sure that your coils are cleaned out and that they're free breathing, that you don't have a lot of dirt or pine straw inside your unit and so forth. Look at the pipes and so forth and make sure that the insulation is on the pipes like it should be too and that the wires coming in and out of the home are, uh, have good integrity and that there's no separation there or um, any problems that you could visually see with that either. And, and I mean really you talk about uh, doing the green thing and, and being responsible uh, as far as being energy efficient, that's one of the most important things you can do right off the bat is just to make sure your equipment is maintained and kept in good running condition. It'll lengthen the life of your system, it'll keep it more comfortable in your home, and ultimately be, be more efficient too. Sherry Coleman, one of Santee Cooper's energy advisors, shared some great tips for saving energy and your energy dollars during winter. Uh, you can actually walk through your home and look for different signs of duct leakage, for example, around your supply registers or your return grill. If you see du uh, dust, a lot of dust, then you may have some duct leakage, which you may, may need to address. Anywhere where you have a hole, uh, you have a light, plumbing, uh, supply registers, return registers, anywhere that, where there's a hole that's cut into your home, you want to seal that. And insulation does not seal those holes. You need a, a, a silicone gel or caulk to use in those areas. If it's electrical, you'll need a special electrical sealant. In your home, you want to keep the interior doors open to allow the air to move freely throughout the home. If you do not do this, it could potentially raise your bills. One of the most important things that you can do in your home that doesn't cost you very much money at all is to check those filters to make sure they're clean. If you're a pet owner especially, a lot of hair can get into your return filter. And also, we don't recommend using the really uh, pleated filters because they can actually restrict airflow. Use the free flowing filters that will allow the air to return to your unit. If your filters get really dirty, your electric bills will rise, and that's because your heat pump is working harder to heat your home during the winter months. For information on these and many other cost-saving energy tips, visit SanteeCooperGreen.com. Living Green, from Santee Cooper Green.